the Topham Chase, his next Grade 3 handicap over the National Fences. This one, Ocean of Liquor, Darren Thompson, Little Rock Hood and El Centro Air for Vinnie Gerard. Need a tonic, Greg Beckwith, October Bay, Graham Christopher, Stellar Performance, Leon Van Rensburg, Jennifer Connolly, Matt Cooper, Monty Land, John Morgan, Roller Six, Craig Beckwith, Zena Marbell, Andre Hogan, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Matt Cooper and Fearless for Paul Parsons. A field of 12 over the Grand National Fences, calling and away. And October Bay down this near side is pulling for its head, doesn't want to settle down, but Monty Land for John Morgan. Looks like he's going to go into the lead as they come to the first. And they've all got safely over the first. With Monty Land, Ocean of Lecker and October Bay disputing the lead as they make their way towards the chair, which will be their second obstacle. And all gave that plenty of air and got over it nicely. And towards the water jump now. Monty Land will leave for John Morgan. This one not going quite as quick as his front runners usually do. They all lipped over the water successfully, as they always do. It's Monty Land in the lead then. They head out now onto the back part of the track. Take the fence, it'll be the first in the Grand National tomorrow. Just 21 runners declared for tomorrow, which is probably the lowest of the short. The smallest field we had in the Grand National ever I would have thought I can't imagine 21 I remember right back when I started commentating but horses were getting balloted out because we had too many entered over the 40 as they get to the 4th which is the first in the big race of course but they're all safely over that one Not quite so many people around as we used to have in those days but maybe things will get back to those levels one day they're all safely over that one heading down towards this big ditch now Monty Land is clearing the lead. He jumped it nicely. Nice to the field stream over it. Well, the one that's struggling at the back is fearless for Paul Parsons. Not taken to the fences that one, I don't think. As they take the next. Oh, safely over that. With Monty Land setting a stiff pace now. The pace has definitely quickened. Jennifer Love Hewitt's moved through in a second. Stellar performances after that one. As they take number eight there's a faller there it's Jennifer Love Hewitt that's gone so bad luck there for Matt Cooper that looks to be going well as well but Monty Land is going to lead them into Beaches Brook oh, got over that okay with a little rock hood second Jennifer Connolly third and still a performance in Zena Marbell October Bay over the Fornhaven fence they go oh, safely over that one Fearless getting a bit closer at the back now. We've we'll taken a while to get used to the fences, but it's now back with the rest of them. That's Monty Land heads towards the canal turn. All safely over the canal turn, and they're heading for Valentine's with Monty Land in the lead. Jennifer Connolly second, Little Rockwood third, Zena Marbell roller six is after that one. All safely over Valentine's end, and Monty Land is the leader. Only got a mile to go now. Monty Land's in front from Jennifer Connolly and Little Rock Hood. Then comes Roller Six and Zena Marbell as they take that one all over it nicely. They all starting to bunch up behind this leader who is still Monty Land for John Morgan. John Morgan's Monty Land in the lead then from Jennifer Connolly. They take that one. Oh, well, that one they go. That was the final ditch. They've only got three more to take then now. And it's Monty Land in front. Jennifer Connolly is in second. Zena Marbell and Roller Six. October Bay on the inside. Then Ocean of Lecker is getting a bit closer. Look at is fearless. He didn't like the fences at all to start with, but now he's cutting through the pack like a knife through butter. The two Vinnie Gerard horses have dropped to the back, but it's Monty Land who's in the lead. Monty Land's led all the way so far from Jennifer Connolly in second. Roller Six is back in third. October Bay is falling. Zena Marbell, Oceans of Lecker, and Fearless just two to take in the straight then now. And Monty Land is clear by four lengths and he's kicking on again in front from Jennifer Connolly and Roller Six. October Bay's after that. Then a gap to Zena Marbell, Nita Tonic, Oceans of Lecker, and Fearless still a performance, and El Centro here, Little Rock Hood is out of it as they get over the second last, but Monty Land is well clear. 
eight lengths clear now, Monty Land, and he looks like he's extending the lead, if anything. Jennifer Connolly in October by battling it out for second. Roller six, a notion of Lekanex. This is the final fence. Monty Land's over it. He's well clear. He's racing towards the elbow, and Monty Land is absolutely miles in front of the rest of them, making a total mockery of the handicap. Monty Land, he's well clear now, ten lengths clear. Racing past the elbow, he's racing up towards the line, and it's Monty Land. He's got half a furlong to go, but they're not going to catch him. He looks like he could go around again. Monty Land takes this one easily from Stella Performance, who's just second. Then Jennifer Connolly, Ocean of Lekanid, a tonic October Bay, and all the way back to Fearless, who ended up last. But well, Monty Land has just put in a pretty Stella Performance to beat Stella Performance by about. 10 lengths or so, 8 to 10 lengths. It's, well, it's certainly more than 6 and 3 quarters. Monty Land for John Morgan, the winner. Stella Performance, Leon van Rensburg, second. Jennifer Codley, Matt Cooper, third. Ocean of Lecker for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Nita Tonic for Craig Beckwith was back in fifth. <laughs>